Margaret's life. It was what in uh, the Christian tradition might be called grace, that you cannot do it completely on your own. And in Christianity, the grace comes from the divine. In the story of the Buddha, the grace comes from the ordinary kind heart of a girl who sees somebody starving and says, eat. There's something beautiful. Whenever I remember that story, it makes me so happy because I see the heart of Buddha as the person he was, like the Siddhartha. This dish was the dish he used to be fed by his stepmother, rice pudding. He was missing that so much. And then he remembered maybe further and further, and he remembered about his wife, about his son, and the deepest emotions that he had suppressed. They were overpowered. They came up. They were still there. He had a feeling of missing. He had a feeling of seeing his son, and a feeling of being near his loved ones. They were so powerful. Oh, this must have soaked his whole entire being. He was actually an utter failure. He had been clinging to the path of asceticism. And when he took the food, what followed was a return of his original question. Life is painful. Life involves change. This is still a problem. The problem didn't disappear. It wasn't long before the ascetics who had been Siddhartha's companions found him eating and turned away in disgust. 